everyone and welcome back to my channel all right so this video reading is uh how do they view you and how do they view this connection uh what do they want with you or what do they want out of this connection and um what's likely to occur so this is a past present future reading so you can ask about someone from the past someone from the present or you can ask about your future person the next person coming in uh, before I get into which deck is which, as always, thank you to all of you who are subbed to this channel thus far. I thank you. If you're brand new, uh, consider hitting the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. Also, become a patron of mine. Um, I am. I have additional pick a card readings on Patreon, and I am at current of doing this uh, recording, trying out uh, monthly readings. So your monthly sign reading will be uploaded to the Patreon and anyone who is a patron is automatically entered into a monthly giveaway. The month of December 2020 when I'm doing this reading, the current giveaway is a $25 Etsy gift card. So definitely uh, I encourage you go over to Etsy, become a patron and yeah, there you are. And you have the rules and whatnot there in regards to the giveaway. Uh, so yeah. Oh, also, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. As always, I thank you and much love to all of you who keep me booked and busy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so appreciative and so grateful for you all. And for all of you who are viewing, I'm grateful for you too. And yeah, let's get into which uh, deck is which. This is deck number one, deck number two, deck number three. Again, deck one, the Bonefire Tarot, deck two, Rider Waite. Deck three, the New Orleans Hudo Tarot. Keep in mind, these are general messages. It will not resonate with everyone. It just won't. Um, take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts and feelings and the whatnots. All right, so deck number one. All right, so deck number one. Let's get into the reading. Oh my goodness, I dropped a little bit of candle wax. Got on the card. Oh, well, a little candle wax won't hurt. All right, so let's see. How do they view you? So we're going to break down the questions. How do they view you and how do they view this connection? Universe. So past, present, or, or future person, you all. So definitely you can ask for multiple people and get the same pile or what have you, same deck. Universe, thank you for sharing the messages. How does this person, the deck number one, is asking about you, them, that current... How does this person view them that current universe? Give me two more cards. How does this person view them that current? Give me one more card universe. How does this person view them that current? All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the temperance that came out in the reverse. You can be a Sagittarius or the person that you are asking about may be Sagittarius. But let's see. So we have the Ace of Wands that came out in the reverse thus far. We have the devil card that came out in the reverse and we have the ace of coins that came out in the upright. So automatically what I'm getting is deck number one, this could have been someone where you had a primarily sexual connection with at one point in time, definitely with this ace of wands and the devil that's in the reverse. This person could be a fire sign that you're inquiring about or if it's a future person, maybe you're more inclined to date fire signs. Uh, this is someone uh, who can also be a Capricorn. But definitely I'm getting that it was, primarily sexual in the past i feel like you're more so asking maybe about somebody past or maybe someone that you're dealing with from the past and the present but yeah i feel like it was very heavily sexual um maybe i'm here non-committal maybe not a lot of back and forth in terms of vulnerability and emotional opening uh definitely in regards to uh, how they view you right now. This is somebody who would like to establish a more grounded relationship with you. Um, I'm not even hearing in the future. Or for those of you that's asking for in regards to your next person coming in, a future person, maybe your relationships in the past were very quick. You've dealt with more, you know, temptation and sexual situations. And now the person that's coming in is going to be trying to lay down the foundation, really get to know you. That's what I'm getting with that. Uh, let's see. Do I want to grab a... Yeah, let's grab a romance oracle. For those who chose deck number one, how does the person view them? For those who chose deck number one, how does the person view them? So we have playfulness. So yeah, definitely a lot of temptation, um, a lot of flirting, a lot of maybe this person was even a player, just non-committal vibes. Um, but at the same time, I feel like even though this person is looking towards you more relationship-minded now, 
they are who they are in regards to the playfulness. How did this person view those who chose deck number one? Um, I'm not feeling that one. Give me one card. This person view. And we have retreat. So definitely there's some distance where this person could still be a bit off in your future. Eh, not a bit off. I mean like maybe three months. But yeah, someone, it, it feels like a distance. But at the same time, someone who wants to get away with you or get away towards you maybe they're at a physical distance let's see how does this person view those who chose deck number one how does this person view those who chose deck number one we have attraction and we have healing family issues so i feel like maybe at some point in time this person could have been very rude towards you deck number one um and i feel like you were getting mixed signals for from this person or maybe for those of you that's inquiring about a future connection you have a tendency of attracting people with mixed signals and maybe this is something this person is healing right now and i feel like currently they're in a healing journey they're healing whatever it is that they had you know going on with them um, at the time the two of you were dealing with each other, um, if this is either past or present that you're talking about, um, it feels like maybe they're healing some past family trauma or they could possibly be healing an, a relationship that they were just getting over. For some of you, this was, you came into this person's life as a rebound. They may have been a bit heartbroken when they met you or even currently. That's what I feel like with that. So let's see, how are they viewing this connection between the two of you? universe for those who chose tech number one how does this person to you in the connection and tell them, give me one more how does this person view the connection between those who chose deck one how's this person viewing connection yeah, i'm definitely loving this deck you all i love these cards all right so we have the knight of wands this is somebody that wants to take action towards you for sure that's what i'm getting with that one but then let's see what's going on so we have the empress that came out in the upright definitely this is somebody who feels like you're very beautiful they call you beautiful a lot i feel like when you two are in communication uh definitely if this is a future person you this would be a compliment that you get from this person a lot beautiful i feel like this person may be someone who thinks about family with you definitely or maybe children or maybe you have a child with this person we have the two of swords. This person is also in decision mode. I feel like this person is trying to make a decision of, do I give myself to this connection and come towards them? Or do I kind of stay where I am? Especially if this person is long distance. We have the three of wands. Yeah, this person may be definitely long distance or just distant in emotion. I feel like this person is passive aggressively attacking this situation. It's like, I almost feel like you could get away in this connection because of the the, the 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 speed that this person is 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 moving at maybe this person won't finally come towards you until it's too late until you're gone um for those of you who chose this particular deck maybe you're a bit fed up with this connection i'm getting that too we have the two of wands that came out in the reverse this is definitely somebody who's decided that they're going to take some type of movement or action towards you whether it be actually meeting you in person which i am feeling that strongly or um some type of phone call but definitely this is decided action um we have the justice card uh definitely this could be a karmic situation um but this is somebody who wants to bring balance to the situation so if you're not talking to this person right now or if this is a future person you're inquiring about just out of curiosity uh this could be someone this could be a leaper that you're dealing with or an earth sign quite possibly um or a fire sign, but this is somebody who wants to be balanced. I feel like this person still has a lot of healing and work to do, but they're going to make the effort in regards to talking about the issues. So it may be a bit of challenges that arise, but they're going to have the conversations, have the hard conversations. And then we have the 10 of wands. Interesting. So something about this situation is burdened. Like, I feel like this person is coming towards you, but still something is stopping this person. And it could be back in this two of swords, the, the decision mode. Maybe they're deciding between you and another person, you and what feels right, what's comfortable to them. Um, let's see, universe. You know, definitely something could be going on, you know, with their heart chakra. Maybe they're looking to balance the heart chakra with the justice card. Universe, clarify the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, something about this person, even though they're coming towards you, maybe they're still trying to move forward from this connection. Maybe this is short-lived, or maybe this is more about self-love. Let's see. Universe. 
there for the Ten of Wands in the upright. Give me two more cards. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Oh, both Knights came out. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. This is somebody that wants this with you. Cain's Man and the Ace of Swords. But they're holding themselves back from action. And it could be because maybe there's someone else um, that they're dealing with. We do have the Ace of Swords that came out in the upright, so there is communication coming. Uh, let's just pull some quick cards. Universe, why is this person holding themselves back from deck number one? You know more. Why is this? We'll take those. We have the Queen of Swords. Maybe they're currently dealing with an air sign. Maybe you're an air sign. Uh, or maybe they've been hurt by a past connection. Maybe somebody's acting like a B word to them currently, like being, you know being harmful we have the seven of coins that came out in the reverse okay so this is somebody who may not want a relationship right now i'm seeing a lack of investment it could be laziness no not laziness we have the star card maybe not feeling much hope this could once again a healing journey this could be somebody who's really dealt with some you know bs when it comes to relationships but i'm seeing them always make the wrong turn we have the page of swords so the energy of them watching you trying to you know get information and trying to feel things out without taking strong leaps but this person is very is moving extremely slow that's what i'm getting with that um what else is going on yeah something about this person this person could be younger than you something about this person it's a protection thing but at the same time it's also based on what they've been through in the past and not wanting that to happen but i'm getting that this person made a lot of wrong moves in the past and it's kind of like it's like they didn't pay attention to their intuition. This is somebody who's not really connected to their intuition. So instead of listening to their gut and going with their heart and their mind, you know, it's like, ah, but this makes sense. And then they, it's like they're wondering, like, why is this constantly not working out for me? And it's like, because you're ignoring, you know, you're putting on your shoes backwards and you're wondering why you're walking backwards. And then we have the Six of Cups. So I do feel like there's things holding this person back that they're tied to the six of cups is the familiar that's what that is that's blocking it's like either this person is going to see what it is in the new the fresh with the better choice with you or they're going to stick in the in the familiar in their comfort zone and maybe be un, un, unhappy but yeah yeah it sucks so let's see what do they want out of you universe what does this person want out of deck number one what do they ultimately want out of deck number one we have romantic feelings yeah this person still has it out for you or still has a flame for you what do they want with deck number one what do they want with them give me two cards what do they want with deck number one boom boom give me one more what do they want the deck number one all right bottom of the deck we have a win-win outcome is in the forecast so you could definitely be dealing with a libra but they're definitely wanting balance there could be some sort of apology coming soon with that libra you know balancing out the scales but let's see what do they want with you we have codependency yeah this is somebody who's still attached to you they want a relationship they want to be attached to you they want to have some type of connection with you we have let go of control issues. This person could, could be very controlling. I'm also hearing Aries. This person can have Aries energy or be an Aries sun sign. Um, maybe like to control things because you also got the energy of the emperor that came out with the, you know, that goes with this controlling issues. This person can have their own business, but it's like they want to be able to, you know, allow themselves be free, let go of the status quo and come towards what they know will make them happy. And this is the thing. I feel like ultimately one day this person will make a choice to come towards you. But it may be too late for some of you. It's like they may figure it out at like, you know, 20 years from now. And it's like, why would you do that? You know, like that type of thing. We have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So it could be something that's going on right now with their family. You know, a family life situation. We have expect powerful change. So I, I feel like this person is going to come towards you. For some of you scared and all very unexpected, unexpectedly. And I am here in seven days. So I feel like for some of you, as soon as seven days, you should hear from this person. Uh, we have a new romantic cycle begins. This is what they want. Once again, Libra, more balanced energy. They, they're here to apologize. They're trying to make atonement. 
For some of you, they kind of messed up. It's like, look, for some of you, they're not ready. Like, they know what they want out of you, but they're not really ready for it. But it's like, if I don't grab this opportunity, I am not going to get it back. That's kind of where their mind is at. We have a new start is coming, new moon. Yeah, so some of you, look at the moon phases too. The next new moon, between the next new moon and next full moon. But yeah, this is, this is a new beginning. They're going to try. And for some of you, it may move a little slower than what you wanted to, but simply because this person is, is trying to be ready and they're not really ready, but they're not going to tell you that even though you're going to pick it up. And we have a time for healing, look, balancing energies. That's what they want. They want to heal the situation and they want to see what the future holds for you too. But I'm getting like, I'm getting honestly, it may be, if you choose to go with this person, it may be a six month journey of this person's challenges because this person's not fully healed from the last one. They're not... I'm not even, for some of you, maybe they're still kind of, you know, their love is still wrapped up. For some of you, this person's angry. And that's just what that is. That's what I'm getting to. And they have to get over that. But they know they don't want to let go of you because it's like, if I let this go, it's going to be hard. And I'm going to be mad. And I'm going to watch this person ride off in the sunset, have kids, have a spouse. And it ain't going to be me. So let's see. What would be the outcome? What's going to be the outcome? Universe between deck number one and that person that they're inquiring about, past, present, and future the likely outcome to occur what's the likely outcome to occur give me two cards the likely outcome to occur in this bottom of the deck uh so we have this image of a banquet a feast and as you can see like there were rodents here and then we have the energy of the seven of wands so i feel like this could be somebody who's deceitful with you in the past withholding kind of sneaky you know kind of rat like weasel like and was pushing you off definitely they're out of that energy i mean this is somebody that is gonna dawn on them like if i do not make a move ready or not here i come then i am going to be hella mad in the future um uh, we have this image right here with the fox and i feel like this more so goes into you know like slide like a fox them, them not really being ready and because i'm not feeling like energy where they're lying to you in regards to you know watch out beware uh this is somebody who's going to hurt you we also have the energy of the nine of wands but this is going to be a struggle for them it's going to be at least a six month challenge if you choose to go with this connection simply because this person's not really ready but they know they see the value in you and they don't want to let it go and then we have look at that the ten of cups energy that came out this is somebody that's loyal to you it's like i feel like though this is timeless if you're watching this in december of 2020 uh this is somebody once again six months time give this that and this person will be i mean like they'll be on you like funk on draws y'all like <laughs> in real life like th this is somebody who needs time but they see the value and they don't want to let it go because it's like if i let this go and come back in six months it's not gonna be here hell this person might legit be married but this is a loyal connection this is this is a soulmate connection too this person really wants this so i'm getting yeah they're not gonna let this go they're gonna give it a shot but it's gonna be somewhat of a challenging road and not because this person's gonna be crazy towards you um Eh, well no not crazy as in like you know deliberately hurting you but it's gonna take some it's gonna take some strength if this is what you want that's what i'm getting with that and in regards to time frame i'm getting that you're gonna hear from this person definitely what's coming through strong is seven days and then we got the number 18 so the number 18 could could be something significant or one plus eight equals nine uh, that could be something significant and let's see what number is this on this card 14 or well, one plus four equals five so maybe around those days of the month or the following month that you're watching this reading is very significant um that's what i'm getting with that so expect within the next seven days or maybe the 14th the 5th the 18th or the 15th i just said that or the fifth that's what i'm getting all right deck number one you all thank you so much for tuning in let me know in the comment section below how did this resonate did it resonate did it not resonate uh become a patron of mine and be entered into uh this month's giveaway which is an etsy gift card that's for december 2020 uh and if you'd like to book a private reading coaching consultation session you know what to do check the pin comment below as well as the description box below and check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for the etsy information as well you all 
um, or yeah, definitely the Etsy information. I'm rambling. Patreon information too. That's in the description box below as well as the pin comment below. And let's move on to our second deck. Deck number two. All right, so pile number two, let's find out first, how did your person feel about, uh, how do they view you? How do they view the connection between the two of you? Uh, what is it that they want to happen between the two of you in this connection? And what's more likely to occur? in actuality between you two in this connection so let's see first eggs universe thank you for the chat messages for those who chose deck number two how does that person view them deck number two and this could be the past present or future person deck number two how does this person view them deck number two can you remember how does this person view them all right, so bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So energetically, what I'm saying is the two of you are disconnected. For some of you, now this is kind of peeking out to me. You may be dealing with a Taurus or inquiring about a Taurus. Um, and I am getting Earth sign vibes with this uh, person too, with this High Priestess for some reason. Eh, water, 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 water. Uh, but yeah, I feel like at one point in time, you, you and this person were very connected. At current energetically you're in, you're you're disconnected this could be someone that's been at a distance like for some time separation for some time for some of you this current disconnection is here because you're inquiring about a future person and it's like their energy is still a ways off so let's see how do they view this connection we have the magician card that came out in the reverse the judgment card that came out in the reverse and the six of cups that came out in the upright this could be a crush that you're inquiring about deck number two Something about this person's energy feels like it it just it isn't happening right now. Like it's on a decline, or maybe that's kind of where their mind is at. Like I don't see how you know, not that they can't see it, but this is somebody who maybe in regards to belief and belief system, you know, they only believe in what they can touch, you know. So maybe there's not a lot of faith working with this person. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see, how do they view the overall connection between the two of you? Anyways, thank you for the channel messages. For those who chose deck number two, how does this person view the connection between them and deck number two? How does this person view the connection between them and deck number two? Read two more cards. How does this person view the connection between them and deck number two? Two more cards. How does this person view the connection between them? Deck number two, give me one more. How does this person view the connection between them and deck number two? They need those two. We have the page of pentacles that came out in the reverse. I feel like this person doesn't really have much to offer you all who chose deck number two. Maybe this person is still like in some type of, you know, career transition, trying to figure out, you know, what's going on with them in their life and what to expect. Let's see, we have the King of Wands that came out in the upright. You could be dealing with somebody who's an Aries or a Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting heavy with that King of Wands. Somebody who's looking for something more casual, somebody that you dealt with something in regards to casual. Maybe they see this relationship as something more casual. This is somebody who they definitely know your worth. They see your worth. They see your beauty. Maybe you have kids with this person too, with this Empress card. Um, but something about this person's life feels like it's not really together how they want it to be definitely financially and maybe that's what's blocking why they can't fathom in their mind a solid connection between the two of you we have the hermit card that came out in reverse maybe this person is a virgo this is somebody who needs to go on a healing journey and they have yet to start it they have yet to even think about what they need to do with their life we have the hanged man that came out in the upright now this is somebody who doesn't see this going anywhere for the time being it's, it's at a state of pause look i just said it. it's at a state of pause with that four of swords in the upright look at that knight of wands they're not they're not even thinking about coming towards you like they think about you in regards to attraction but they're not thinking about coming towards you and then we have the seven of pentacles i just heard the boy is mine um but more specifically the the part in the chorus um the part in the chorus where um, 
Brandy tells Monica, you know, maybe you're best in the future. So maybe they feel like this is a connection that's best for the future when they're ready. This could be somebody that's younger than you or more immature. Because that's what I'm picking up. Somebody's in their 30s and they're not younger than you and they're not too young. But they're just... They missing the boat with this one. So let's get more information in regards to how they feel about you. Universe, think about channel messages. How does deck number two's person feel about them overall? How does deck number two's person, give me one more card, feel about them overall? Deck number two's person feel about them overall? Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have children. So once again, you can have children with this person. Maybe you've talked about children. They've joked about children. Maybe they act like a child. Maybe you work with children. They find you tender and nurturing, you know, um, sweet and innocent like a child. Let's see. What is this person? How does this person view those who chose deck number two? How does this person view those who chose deck number two? How does this person view those who chose deck number two? Take time to breathe out in. They're taking time to breathe out. And they're looking for a break. More paused energy with the hangman. And we got the four swords. This isn't even them taking their sweet time. This is them not making any movement towards you. But this is how more how they view you. This person is, what I tell you, they're more focused on career and finances. But it, who they want to be, what they want to um, become. This could be a situation that's better suited for the future and maybe more so friendship. I do feel like this person will come back around at some point, but it may be too little too late. We have the codependency that came out in the upright. So Capricorn energy, healing family issues. Once again, this is somebody who hasn't yet gone within to do the work, but needs to. Or maybe they're dealing with some significant family issues at this point in time. We have getting to know each other. So I feel like, once again, situationship. Like, they, this is somebody who stopped the connection, stopped themselves from getting to know you. And then we have retreat. You know, this is somebody who's going away from you at the time being. That's what I'm getting. Um, and let's see what else came out, how they view you. Don't let your pride hold you back. So you could be dealing with a Leo. This could be somebody who's kind of arrogant. Have faith in your dreams. But once again, this feels like more distant energy. And you and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like there could be something major going on with this person in regards to their family at the moment. Maybe somebody with kids. You know, a family member with kids. Or if they have children that, you know, they're not. Nah, I'm not really getting If they have kids, it's their own kids. Um, but something, yeah, something is definitely going down. So, universe, give me more messages. What's the likely outcome between those who chose deck number two and the person that they're asking about? Give me one more. What's the likely outcome? What's going to occur? Okay, I can't keep pulling. You know what? I'm not going to keep pulling. I'm filling that one, too. And give me one more. What's the likely outcome, universe? Those who chose deck number two and the person that they're asking about. I feel these two. Come on, come on, come on. Stop. All right, we'll do them. All right, so we got the 10 of cups that came out in the reverse. I mean, in the upright at the bottom of the deck with this dog right here. So this is somebody who's very loyal. I feel like, once again, I'm getting Taurus vibes. Maybe you're inquiring about a Taurus. I get. I keep on hearing, get away is my time to shine if you didn't know the boy is mine. Now, I don't get that this person's in any set relationships, but just they're just kind of off doing their thing, not really looking for, you know, a settled anything right now. We have, you know, I feel like you could hold the key to this person's heart or they hold the key to your heart. Um, this is the energy of the seven of, geez Louise, seven of pentacles. So once again, more seven of pentacles energy, but this is investment in the future. That's what I feel like. I feel like this person's too immature for this connection right now. That's more so investment in the future, but you may be long gone. Look at that. We have, and this is a solo man, we have the Ace of Cups that came out in reverse or the energy of the Ace of Cups. Somebody that's just kind of off in their own world. This is somebody who still needs to, you know, do some healing and self-work. They haven't had any self-realization where they're still blaming other people for their problems. We have the Six of Wands that came out in the upright. So this person could be popular or this person could just be on some, you know, popularity type stuff, you know, dating around, doing whatever, whatever. Definitely somebody who's sleeping around at the moment um once again this could be past present or future connection we have the queen of cups that came out in the reverse and the energy of this bird the seagull so i'm once again this is somebody who's focused on self at the moment very not selfish energy just focused on self and i'm seeing you actually just kind of move forward from this um 
yeah like i'm not saying to reach out to you with that either and then we have this somewhat what is this a watchtower or a light tower um and we have the seven of swords that came out in or the six of swords rather that came out in the upright yeah this is somebody that's moving t from you at the moment or in regards to when could this ever materialize into anything you all i'm not even getting a time frame that's how far removed this person is from this connection um or now the good news could be if you're talking about somebody from the future 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 you just haven't met them yet and i just heard that michael boule song i just haven't met you yet you know so it could be something like that maybe if you're asking for somebody future it's like you haven't connected yet at all and this is you know at least seven eight nine months off ten months off you know like from when i'm doing this reading um in december 2020 or when you're watching this reading whenever you're watching it because it's timeless but yeah this person's just kind of eh, and they haven't even began even kind of the journey yet not even a little bit that's what i'm getting with that all right so deck number two you all let me know in the comment section below how you felt about this reading how did it resonate did it resonate did it not resonate you could definitely let me know uh become a patron of mine um check out this month's oh, wait. If you become a patron, you automatically qualify for this month's giveaway, which is the Etsy gift card. This is for December 2020. If you'd like to book a private reading coach or a consultation session with me, you can do so by checking out the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And the same for the Etsy information or for the Patreon information. And yeah, thank you all for joining me. And give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel compelled to. And yeah, let's move on to our very last deck, deck number three. All right, so deck number three, let's get deep into this question. Deck number three, person that you are inquiring about, how do they view you? How do they view this connection? What do they want from this connection? Or what do they want from you? And what is the most likely outcome? So universe, thank you for the channel messages. For those who chose deck number three, how does this person view the person who chose deck number three? And this could be past, present, or future person that you're asking about. Uh, you all all right so we have the fool that came out in the reverse and with this world's egg and and this snake right here that i'm feeling off of this image this imagery this could be somebody who's very inclined to their health very health focused something about this person's energy feels scattered it feels unfocused that's what i'm getting with this full card in reverse definitely could be inquiring about somebody from the past with this full card somebody who wants a new beginning but maybe it's more so they're trying to strategize or they need to see where you are mentally but let's see we have the three of wands that came out in the upright this person could love dance or could be a very good dancer or a really great lover um i feel like this is somebody who wants to hear from you yeah we have the hanged man that came out in the reverse. So definitely this person, I feel like they're strategizing uh, how to come towards you. They definitely view you as someone they want a connection with. Um, this is somebody with a lot of spontaneous energy. Um, I feel like this is an extroverted person that you're talking about. Maybe an air sign. We have the ace of cups. Yeah, they're thinking about you romantically. Once again, somebody who's really... Uh, who health means a lot to them. Maybe they work out a lot. Also, what I'm getting, um, maybe this person works in health, health care in some, some aspect. And then we have, let's see, the two of wands that came out in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely thought about, um, like they, they, they're in their wishful thinking, they want action with you. Um, I feel like definitely this is somebody who's maybe dating, but you're their number one this is what they want with you and then we have the two of swords so for some of you this person and they also would be an earth sign that's what i'm getting with that two of swords they could be contemplating letting the situation go uh maybe there's been a lot of time passed or maybe a lot of things that just kind of went really wrong between y'all so that's what i'm getting with that but yeah this is somebody who if they can have what they want they want you uh, so let's see, how do they view this connection? We're actually, I want to grab more energy on how do they view you. Universe, thank you for the channel messages. How does deck number one's, or number four's person, oop, 
I said number one and number four. Hmm, interesting. How does deck number three's person view them? You have attraction. Yeah, they're still attracted to you. If this person isn't showing you, you know, any inklings of how they feel, yeah, they're still attraction, attracted. How does deck number three is? I want to say deck number four. Maybe number four is um in, is something significant for you all. How does deck number three's person feel about them? Unrequited love. Yeah, especially with this right here, this three of wands. You could be used to this person coming towards you. Deck number three, the person that you're asking about, or, or and for those of you that's inquiring about somebody in the future. Uh, or present you know maybe this person is is usually you know it's like when they want what they want they they don't mind you know making it known allowing you know doing that cat and mouse if you're a feminine energy you know chasing if you're the masculine energy allowing themselves to be chased but definitely letting you know leaving clues somebody who's very connected with their sexuality and enjoys sex and things of that nature and maybe the two of you have enjoyed sex if you've already been involved with this person but they feel like you don't want nothing to do with them because i require the love so let's see how do they view those who chose deck number three it is safe for you to love yeah this person still has feelings for you maybe this person has told you that they love you deck number three we have very soon we have forgiven and learning so this feels a bit karmic in nature this relationship this feels like maybe it's been round and round off and on um, I feel like the two of you will contact, will speak to each other very soon, but more so I feel like deck number three, you may be the person coming towards them. If you're the masculine, you're coming towards them, um, deck number three. Um, and you could be male or female, but if you're the more masculine, you're coming towards them. That's what I feel like that. Or if they're the more masculine, they're coming towards you and very soon. I'm hearing in December. So I'm doing this reading at the time of December, 2020. So but the month of, for those of you that are watching this, whenever you're watching this, and if you're watching this at the very end of a month, that next one, we have honeymoon. I feel like the two of you may be retreating together. We have worth the waiting for. This is somebody who's been waiting on you. Even in moving on, they've been waiting on you at the dough. Like, they've been waiting. Uh, let's get some moonology, universe. How does this person feel about those who chose? Deck number three I, I keep wanting to say deck number four i feel like four may be significant for the two of you or maybe you're in the wands energy commitment number four you know or 11 11 mirroring energy maybe the two of you mirror each other but we have you are good enough and virgo energy so maybe you're a virgo or you're dealing with a virgo um that you're asking about but you are good enough this person feels like you're good enough for them you know maybe you felt like you didn't measure up to this person but this person is they are in love with you they like you know i can see us growing together so i know that this can be but you have to give it a chance we have look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius so and we're still in sagittarian eh, we're going into capricorn season but something can happen th th today if you're watching this in sagittarian season season Nothing yet is set in stone. So this person's emotions about you is still pending. And then we have your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. So definitely, you're watching this in December of 2020. We're moving out of Sagittarian season. Like in the next day or two. It's November. It's December 19th that I'm um, recording this. So going into New Moon and Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn season. Or that very next month. Or the month of. If you're watching this outside of that. You're going to have significant movement between you and this person. So let's see. How do they view this connection? Universe. How does this person view the connection for those? Chose deck number three. How does that person view the connection? Give me three cards. How does the person view the connection? Give me three cards. How does this person view the connection? Let's see. Do I want to keep going? No. We have the five of wands. They view it as something difficult. <laughs> they view it as something difficult. Like, you're difficult. Like, they can't just, they can't figure you out. Or they can't figure this connection out. And this is somebody who's ready, willing, and waiting. But you could be resistant to this deck number three. We have the strength card that came out in the reverse. They don't feel like it's, this is somebody who has a lot of faith in it, that it could happen, but there's times when they don't believe it's going to actually occur. Like, what could we have? This person doesn't want me. And they're talking about you. We have the two of earth. So this person, I'm getting that this person may be a little bit older than you, deck number two, just a smidge for some of you, or maybe the same age, um, but 
not significantly feel like this person may want a family with you definitely a relationship with you um I'm hearing plan B. I don't know if, you know, you all ever had a situation where you had to take plan B from this person because, you know, y'all was doing some things without protection. Always wrap it up. Always wrap it up and use, you know, use contraceptives, you all. But I feel like that may have been a situation, you know, utilize plan B with this person or they're your plan B or they were your plan B and now they're your plan A. Or they feel like your plan B and they want to be your plan A for those of you that are watching this. Um, definitely, I feel like something in regards to this person is very in touch with their body or you really enjoy their body um, I'm getting water bearer signs so this person could have water in a chart or they could be an Aquarius because I'm getting water bearer with this yeah but they don't have a lot of they have faith but they don't have a lot of faith in this connection is I feel like the back and forth between the two of you has broken this person down you know they were being a warrior with this situation but it's broken them down and it's like they don't know what to do should they hold on should they let go they care about you a lot, but they don't feel it reciprocated. So it's like, maybe I should just go through the heartbreak and let it be. That's what I feel like with that in regards to the connection. And then we have the, what I tell you, four wands, that number four. They want this commitment strongly. Deck number uh, three. But they, they feel like it's all based on how you feel and your move. And they feel like there's they feel like you care but they they feel like you know evidence is showing i feel like this is somebody who believes in you know showing me the action backing up the action and it feels like with this person like what i'm hearing is like you've chose all these other people over me you clearly don't want me you know maybe you even told this person i, I care i love you i want you and it's like well you've shown me otherwise you show me you wanted this person over here and that person over there but you ain't show me you want me I feel like for some of you, somebody's scared in this connection and it feels more so like you, deck number three, like you're more scared of developing this. But this is somebody who wants it, but they, they don't know. It's like they have 50% faith that it could happen because anything could happen. Maybe this is somebody who's intuitive or very spiritual, but then they also have 50% because they're dipped in realism that this may never occur. And I feel like a part of them is trying to detach too. So let's see, what do they want out of this connection universe? let go of control issues yeah they they want you to give this a chance getting to know each other you know for some of you they feel like strangers even if you've been intimate they feel like you two are strangers but they want to give this thing a chance what do they want I remember. flirt i feel like the two of you flirt a lot look at this passion some old aries energy and release your ex so this is the energies that are coming out for some of them it's like they they're split they want to let it go but they they in their heart of hearts this is what they want they want to express their love they want to flirt they want to have you be in a relationship with you be good to you grow with you but they feel like this is more so what what's been between the two of you and they want to let this thing go that's what i'm getting with that so let's see what's going to be the likely outcome between the two of you what's likely to occur between deck number three and a person what's likely to occur between deck number three and a person two cards what's likely to occur between deck number three i'm hearing this is going to take work it could happen if the two of you are willing to really, you know, make give it a chance, make the effort, and a sincere, strong, consistent, and persistent effort. Y'all know how I feel about consistency and persistentness. Um, universe, so what's gonna be the outcome between those who chose deck number one? I mean, uh, maybe something is in here for y'all for deck number one. Go look at deck number one too, because I keep getting four and and one. But yeah. Let's see, what's going to be the likely outcome between those who chose deck number three and a person? Let's see, I want one more. What's going to be the likely outcome for those who chose deck number three and their person? Let's see, bottom of the deck. This has been popping up at the bottom of the deck a lot. Is everyone in to pull that too? I don't want to keep going. I don't want to keep going. I don't want to keep going. Stop it. Okay. Oh, I want to keep going, y'all. I want to keep going. Mm. Now I'm feeling to stop. All right, we have loyalty. I feel this one too, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, we have loyalty that came out of the bottom of the deck. At least that's what I get with this energy with the dog. Um, and this is the 10 of cups. There's a high likelihood, once again, it's at least a 50-50 chance. There's a high likelihood that this can occur. Um, definitely the two of you will be in connection again soon, but it's gonna be based on the two of you working together to make this thing happen, you know, 
despite whatever challenges are between the two of you. There could be some distance between the two of you. Definitely emotional distance, but that's what I'm getting. So we have the Six of Cups that came out in reverse. Um, and this, this card, like, off into the night, off into the distance. This is somebody who dreams about you. They don't know how to feel about this. That's what I keep getting. They may know how they feel about you, but they, they don't feel comfortable or safe feeling that way. Because it's like this person keeps showing me they don't want me, so I'm foolish. We have the this person with this fox, this red fox. This person's going to be very protective of themselves. You could have red hair or this person can have red hair. That's what I'm getting with that. This person is going to be very defensive with this nine of wands energy. Very defensive, not rude, but it may be hard getting into this person's, you know, psyche because they're in protection mode. They feel like you don't want them. So, and I feel like more so, yeah, you're going to come towards them. Whoever's the masculine is going to come towards this person and whoever's the feminine is going to be in receptive mode, but this person's going to, the feminine is going to be very, very defensive or whoever this is, this is about, um, cause it can be masculine or feminine that you're asking about, but they're going to be more defensive deck number three in regards to you, you know, and, and trying to be clever about this with this box because it's like, you don't want me, or at least that's how they feel. Look at you, a lot of night energy, total eclipse of the heart. Look at that, um, lunar eclipse. And we have uh, the energy of the eight of cups that came out in reverse. So they want to be friends. They don't know if they can, but they're definitely returning. They're turning back. This is somebody who maybe have emotionally walked away or tried to. They're returning. They can't stop thinking. Even when this person is trying not to think about you, and then maybe they did some candle magic, like get them out my mind. They can't let you go. They can't deny their feelings. We have this book right here. This could be somebody who's very smart. Uh, maybe they have multiple certificates or degrees or that, or just somebody who likes to read a lot, very smart. Because definitely you don't need multiple degrees to be smart. Um, but somebody who values education, maybe work in education. You all, there's a song that's coming to mind. It's a, um, it's Cherry Wine by Nas and Amy Winehouse. Go listen to that. I feel like this, for whatever reason, that, that, that matches this. So just to the T, go listen to that, you all. Um, but definitely, uh, we have this Pentacles energy. This Ten of Pentacles. Wow, this is legacy right here with this Ten of Pentacles. This is, you know, maybe photo albums. Maybe, the, you know, this person's into photography. Maybe you're into photography. Maybe you look at their pictures a lot <laughs> if you have access to their photographs. This person's very beautiful. Deck number three, the person that you're asking about. Or you feel that way or they feel that way about you. But I see a family. I see happiness. I see loyalty. I see the two of you actually in each other's life. Even if, no, nah, I feel like it's going to be something romantic coming back up. But... Ooh, there's a lot of fear in this connection because somebody's holding back so much so that you've got the other person believing or they got you believing that you don't even want them or they don't want you. Look at that. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is likely to have a new beginning and a, and a long-term substantial beginning. It could be marriage and kids between the two of you. We have the Ace of um, Swords that came out, Energy. Maybe something significant is happening on the 24th. I mean, uh, could be the 24th, 25th, 26th, 14th, or the 17th, or the, what is that? The 16th of the month, or whatever month you're watching it. Um, look at that marriage, 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 marriage. That's what I'm getting with that. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, this ring, communication. Yeah, somebody needs to take a leap of faith in this and just be happy. And then we have the Six of Swords that came out in the upright. So three plus six, 36 could be something. Maybe you're 36 years old. Maybe somebody's 63 watching this. Or three plus six equals nine. Nine could be significant for you. Definitely go look up the meaning behind the number nine. Um, but we have the energy of the six of swords. So moving towards you more so. Moving on from the past. I feel like this is somebody when they forgave you or if they forgive you or if you have a conversation and there's forgiving. This is somebody who's willing to move on, forgive and forget, because this is what they ultimately want. Wedded and happy bliss. And not only look, not only that, building a legacy, growing, businesses, boom, but love unconditionally and just and it's just good. So I can see that this is a likely outcome for the two of you. It, it truly is a 50-50% chance, but it's gonna take the both of you getting onto this challenge and accepting it and 
walk in in bravery with it and confidence with it. Um, definitely what I'm feeling is, uh, yeah. And it's more so on you for whomever's, you know, whoever's the masculine or whichever, whoever's being the more neglectful or the more less emotional, vulnerable one. But yeah, this is like a 50 50. So, and I feel more so yay than nay. And I definitely feel like this could be a soulmate connection because the two of you feel like you were in each other's life or meant to be there. Or maybe there's some past life vibes and you're kind of wondering like, why can't I let this person go? Like, damn, that's what I'm getting with that one. Um, so yeah, there's something else that's trying to come out about this, but I said pretty much all that I need to say about this. Somebody, yeah, you two just got to give this a shot. Ah, yeah, just to reiterate, this is happening in the now. The month that you're watching is this is happening in the now for sure. That's what I'm getting with that. All right, tag number three, you all let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below. How did it resonate? Did it even resonate? Did it not resonate? Let me know. Um, become a patron of mine so you can qualify to be entered into this month's giveaway just by being a patron. Currently, I'm doing a $25 Etsy gift card. You don't want to miss out on that, so become a patron. Um, thank you to all of you who book private readings with me, coaches and consultations. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching or consultation, or become a patron, check out the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. Uh, yeah, and I thank you all for vibing out. Give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you feel compelled to. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one. So, peace and blessings to you all. And yeah, bye.